The land in farms in Montana is slowly dropping over a 15-year period. In 2007, there were 61.3 million acres of land in farms, according to the latest USDA Ag Census. That number dropping to 57.6 million in 2022. And as the acreage dwindles, investors are showing an increased interest in farmland in the Treasure State. NBC Montana's Brianna Carroll is talking with experts to make sense of what it means for farmers trying to break into the industry. Jane Tekka knows the value of farmland in Montana. She's part of a ranch family in Park County and has been a land broker for the past 19 years. <laughs> Recently, she's watched Montana's farmland become more and more popular among investors. Farmland is a great investment. As Mark Twain says, you're not making any more of it. And so investors are smart to hold farmland. According to the National Council of Real Estate Investment Fiduciaries, the amount of farmland held by investors has grown by more than 200% in the past 15 years. And the value of those assets has increased approximately 800%. Tekka says farmland is not without risk, but it tends to be a safer bet for buyers as it's less volatile. They are not as subject to market trends as they would be, say, if they're just going to put it in a stocks or bonds on Wall Street. Nationwide, the average market value per acre of farmland in 2022 was up 29.2 percent, according to the USDA. And in Montana, that average market value per acre was up 41.5 percent in that same time period. But increased interest in farmland is driving up prices, and Antonio Tovar is concerned. We need that farmland, and it really reduces the, the pool of farmers. Tovar is with the National Family Farm Coalition. He says farmland purchased by investors tends to be used for monocropping or not used as farmland at all which he says could put the country's food security at risk. Meanwhile, the high cost of farmland creates a roadblock for young farmers entering agriculture. If we don't have enough farmers in the United States, we are going to create a crisis. USDA census data shows the number of producers under the age of 35 in Montana declined by 11.8 percent between 2017 and 2022. Meanwhile, the total number of farms in the state fell by 10.3% during that same time period. That's compared to just a 6.9% dip nationwide. There is a growing number of want-to-be farmers who don't have the kind of access that, that, that other generations have to access uh, farmland. Jane Tekka agrees that pulling together enough money to get started in the industry is an uphill battle. It's not terribly realistic for someone to think that they're just going to bootstrap it and be able to have a working farm or ranch unless they have deep pockets. Yeah. Reporting in Bozeman, Brianna Carroll, NBC Montana.